Yahweh, Yeshuach, and the gods of Ugarit. L. The Supreme God. Fourteen Propositions by Dr. Galen Currach. This video assumes four ideas that seem to be true and underlie my fourteen propositions. First, the Hebrew Bible and Canaanite texts share the name of the supreme god, El. The Canaanite Il and the biblical El are the same supreme god. The name Yahweh was neither Canaanite nor Mesopotamian, originating with the Hebrews. Lastly, both Yahweh and Yeshuach assert their superiority over all gods other than El. The name El derives from an archaic, proto-Semitic, biliteral Ein Lamit, meaning God. Thus, El is the Ugaritic Il, the Hebrew El, the Arabic Il, and the Akkadian Ilu. The name Yahweh means He is, being the third person singular of the verb to be, of which I am is the first person singular. The name Yeshuach is a common alternative form of the name Yehoshua or Joshua. The Latin form Jesus became Jesus in English. 14. Propositions about Yahweh, Yeshuach, and El Proposition 1. El is God and Yahweh is El. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with Moses there, and proclaimed the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, a God merciful and gracious. Yeshua is Son of God. I said, I am the Son of God, that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. El Shaddai, God Almighty. Yahweh's name was El Shaddai. I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, as God Almighty, El Shaddai, but by my name the Lord, Yahweh, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant with them. Yeshua shares Yahweh's name. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. El Chelyon Yahweh is El Chelyon. I have lifted my hand to the Lord, God Most High, El Chelyon, Possessor of Heaven and Earth. Yeshua is called Son of the Most High. Jesus will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Proposition 2. El, the Kindly, the Compassionate. Yahweh shares El's benevolent attributes, but also sternness. The Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty. Yeshua shows Yahweh's attributes. I have compassion on the crowd, because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I am unwilling to send them away hungry, lest they faint on the way. 3. El, the Holy One Yahweh is the Holy One of Israel. 
you shall be holy, for I the Lord your God am holy. I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. Yeshua is holy and he makes holy. I consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. 4. El the Aged, Father of Years Yahweh remains unlimited by age. O oh my God, El, I say, take me not away in the midst of my days, you whose years endure throughout all generations. Yeshua shares in Yahweh's eternality. Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. 5. El the Wise Yahweh is the source of wisdom. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. And Yeshua gives wisdom. I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. 6. El is creator of creatures, father of gods, father of man. Yahweh is creator of everything. The Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. Yeshua also creates. The master of the feast tasted the water now become wine, and did not know where it came from. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. 7. El begets seventy sons. Yahweh begets not, but he appointed sons of God over seventy nations. When the Most High gave to the nations their inheritance, when he divided mankind, he fixed the borders of the peoples according to the number of the sons of God. Yeshua is the Son of God higher than appointed gods. Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? I am the Son of God. Know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. 8. El dwells at the headwaters of the Euphrates River. Yahweh created both Eden and the Euphrates. The Lord God planted a garden in Eden. A river flowed out of Eden to water the garden, and there it divided and became four rivers. The fourth river is the Euphrates. Yeshua brings men into paradise, or Eden. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. 9. El dwells upon a mountain. Yahweh dwelt on a mountain in Eden. You were an anointed guardian cherub. I placed you, you were on the holy mountain of God. So I cast you as a profane thing from the mountain of God. Yeshua reveals his glory on a mountain. Up a high mountain by themselves. He was transfigured before them. A cloud overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, This is my beloved Son. 10. El has no temple. Yahweh has a temple in heaven. The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven, his eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. Yeshua asserted his authority over the temple in Jerusalem. 
he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. And he was teaching them and saying to them, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations? 11. L is called Bull. Yahweh refuses to be likened unto a bull. Hear the word of the Lord, O children of Israel, for the Lord is a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. I have spurned your calf, O Samaria. It is not God. Yeshua becomes human flesh. The Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. 12. L of the Covenant Yahweh makes covenants with men. The Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your offspring I give this land, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates. Yeshua makes a new covenant. He took a cup, and when he had given thanks he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. 13. L is Judge. Yahweh judges nations. I will bring judgment on the nation that they serve and afterwards they shall come out with great possessions. Yeshua is co-judge. You judge according to the flesh, I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. 14. L is King. Yahweh is king over all creation. The Lord, the Most High, is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. The Lord is a great God, and a great king above all gods. Yeshua has a kingdom. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting, but my kingdom is not from the world. Conclusions The Bible shares the culture and language of ancient Canaan. The Yahweh of the Bible was the supreme God of Canaan. The Bible corrects Canaanite misconceptions about God. The supreme God of pagan societies is the true God. Yeshua affirms his oneness with Yahweh. And Yeshua, Jesus, reveals the true God to pagan societies. <laughs>